Good morning, scholars, and welcome, tigers. Um, thank you so much, parents and scholars, for watching this video and being with me today. Um, thank you for sending in your amazing work so far and working for, with Miss Shepard on Zoom. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit of, about productive struggle and how you can help them with that. Um, when scholars are doing their on their own work, that's what you want to see. So productive struggle is when your child doesn't know the answer right away, and that's okay. Sometimes they need a second to think about it. Um, so ways that you can foster that is by reading the question again. Um, you know, maybe they forgot the numbers. So maybe you just need to read the question again. Um, tell them to look at the picture. If they're like, I don't know, say, oh, look at the picture. Or um, if they look at you and they're like, just tell me the answer. Remind them that you can do it. That Miss Flynn believes in you and I do too. Okay, just remind them every day to try your best because you're going to first grade and we believe in you. Okay. So let's get ready because we're going to have a great day and you are first graders. You're this close, this close to first grade. So let's get ready. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here today. Um, so just continue to let them have that productive struggle. Even though they're like sitting there like, oh, I don't know, read the question again. Tell them, look at the picture. Tell them you can do it. Don't give them the answer. Thank you so much, parents. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I want us to count by twos on our 100 chart. We're gonna go to 40 today. I know Miss Shepard's class, you guys have been working on counting by twos, so I know that you guys are doing a great job. We are going to keep going down, um, and we're gonna eventually go to 100, but we're gonna go little by little. So ready? Let's go. Two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Awesome. So we're going to go even further tomorrow. Okay. So just to 40 today. All right. So today is Monday, April the 6th, 2020. Today I can take away from 10 using a five group. So today make sure when we are drawing our story problems that you're drawing it the five group way the five group way all right okay so make sure you have your paper and your pencil or your tablet okay make sure you have that ready so that you can draw on it okay all right and your manipulatives, because um, you can also take a picture of your manipulatives and send it to Miss Shepard. All right. So our first problem, let me read it for us, says, Mary had 10 peaches. Let me make sure you can see my whole board. <laughs> Okay. She had 10 peaches. So let's draw her 10 peaches, but make sure you draw it the five group way. The five group way. How many is on top? Five. And the rest is on the bottom. Great. So she had 10 peaches. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she had ten peaches. Four or 
for peaches were not ripe yet. So we need to circle four peaches and X them out. Four peaches were not ripe yet. So one, two, three, four. So these four that I put checks on, they are not ripe yet. So we're gonna circle those and then X them out one at a time. One, two, three, four. They were not ripe yet. And then how many were ripe? How many peaches were ripe? So that means we need to count the ones that we did not X out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Six were ripe and ready to eat. Okay, so let's do our number bond first. <clears throat> okay, remember, get your, get your hole. Here's your hole. Here's your part and your part. Hole, part, part. So we've got our hole here lined up. Oh, there it is. Our hole's on top. What is our hole of our whole picture? Turn and tell your parent, or your brother or sister, or your cousin. That's right. You could count them all to find the hole. Our hole is 10. Our hole is 10. Okay, put it in our hole. And we took away four peaches, because four peaches were not ripe. Four peaches were not ripe. And how many peaches were ripe? Six. Six peaches were ready to eat. Raise your hand if you like peaches. Me. I love peaches. <clears throat> All right. Who can write their number sentence? You guys are experts at subtraction sentences now. Let me go ahead and write this right here. Go to work. Write your number sentence. What number goes first? What number goes first? What are we taking away from? We're taking away from the whole. We're taking away from the whole, from the entire picture. I have a glare today. There we go. So we're taking away from, what's our whole? 10, that's right. And then here's our takeaway sign, our minus sign. It's also called a minus sign. We're taking away four, because that's what we X'd out. Took away four peaches. Those were not ready to be picked yet. And then we had six left, six that were ready to be eaten. If this is what you got, kiss your brain. Ooh, say, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> All right. We're going to go right down below. So this time, we're still going to draw the five group way. Make sure when I see your work today, you're drawing the five group way. Okay. Chris had 10 toy cars. He had 10 toy cars. Okay, so we're gonna draw squares to represent his toy cars. Draw it the five group way. Go. One. Is that a square? No. Are squares round? No. One. Two, three, four, five. Stop. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I keep going? No, he only had ten cards. So you have to stop, you have to know, oh, he only had 10, so I need to stop at 10. <clears throat> so he had 10 toy cars, 
And two of these cars, y'all are not gonna believe it. Two of these cars didn't have any wheels. Oh my goodness, I wonder what happened to these wheels. So what do we need to do to these two cars? Go ahead and tell your parent. We've been doing this. Tell your parent or your cousin. Awesome, you're right, we need to circle it and X it out. Make sure you circle it and X it out. There we go. So we had how many cars at first? 10, that's right, we had 10. And then how many cars did not have wheels? Two, crazy, right? Now, how many cars do have wheels? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I'm sure some of you guys didn't even have to count them. Because <laughs> you guys are that good. But I had to count them just to make sure. So let's fill out our number one. So this time I'm going to switch it, switch it, switch it. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, so now get your, get your arms ready. Okay, so is our hole up here? No, because the two arms are not coming down. All right, let's turn it this way. Is our hole here? Yes, because here's one arm and here's the other arm. It's on this line. On this line and one is on this line. So here is our hole. So what is our hole? The whole picture? 10, that's right. Ooh, you guys are getting good. And how many cars did not have wheels? How many cars did not have wheels? That's right, two. Isn't that crazy? Two. And we need to X those out. Make sure you X it out. I need to see that. All right. And then how many had how many cards had wheels? Do we need to count them again? If you need to count them again, go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight did have wheels. All right, now let's write our number sentence. you know what number goes in the first blank? How do you know what number goes in the first blank? Hmm. Turn and tell your parent. Okay. Be thinking about that. So in that first blank is our what? Our hole. It's always our hole. Good job. Give yourselves a hand, a hand, and a do no no I rock that, I rock that. Good job. Okay, and now, how do you know what goes in the second blank? How do you know what goes after the minus sign? How do you know what goes after that minus sign? Right here. It's always what? The number that we, number that we take away. It's always the number that we take away. Good job. Okay. And then number here is how many we have left. It's always how many we have left. Great job. All right, so now it's time for your on your own work. And today it's on my anchor chart. So I'm gonna move my computer a little closer so that you can see it really well. Um, so you can pause your 
tablet and if you want to write on it or um, if you want to write it on a piece of paper just uh, <clears throat> as long as you get it to your teacher there it is you can go ahead and pause it all right so some things I want you guys to think about. Every time you are writing your subtraction sentences, I want you to think about what, how do I know what number goes in this first blank? How do I know what number goes in that first blank? Okay, so I want you to think about that every time, okay? And another thing, when you're thinking about the picture, how does crossing out help you make the number sentence? How does that help you with the number sentence? Okay, so I want you to think about that. How does crossing out help you with the number sentence? Okay, so as you're doing your work, I want you to think about that. And I want you to tell your parents or your brother or your sister how do you know which number goes in the first blank? And how does crossing out help with the number sentence? So please turn in your work when you can. Um, <clears throat> Bucks and Rebels, send it to me. Um, and Tigers, um, send it to Miss Shepherd. Um, thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow. Bye.